Good afternoon. I'm Matt Mace with your NWI.com headlines for Monday, July 19th. Power was restored to all but about 30 NIPSCO customers in northwest Indiana Monday morning following Sunday night storms that brought strong winds and downed power lines. According to Nick Meyer, spokesman for NIPSCO, the bulk of the customers remaining without power are in the Munster and Hammond areas. He said power is expected to be restored to the remaining customers by Monday afternoon. The National Weather Service said thunderstorms are forecast for Cook and Will counties in Illinois and Lake Porter, Newton, Jasper, and Benton counties in Indiana late in the evening in Illinois and into the early Tuesday morning hours in Indiana. The federal government Monday allowed BP to keep the cap shut tight on its busted Gulf of Mexico oil well for another day despite a seep in the seafloor after the company promised to watch closely for signs of new leaks underground. The Obama administration's point man for the spill, retired Coast Guard Admiral Thad Allen, said early Monday that the government scientists had gotten the answers they wanted about how BP is monitoring the seabed around the Mile Deep well. Late Sunday, Allen said a seep had been detected a distance from the busted oil well and demanded in a sharply worded letter that BP step up the monitoring of the ocean floor. Allen didn't say what was coming from the seep. In today's editions of the Times and NWI.com, learn more about the life and career of Dr. Ora Marks. Marks turns 103 next month. The region doctor delivered more than 10,000 babies in his long career at St. Catherine Hospital in East Chicago. Defense attorneys began their case this morning in the federal corruption trial of former Illinois Governor Rod Bogoyevich. Both Bogoyevich's brother and sister took the stand this morning. Bogoyevich and his brother have pleaded not guilty to taking part in a scheme to sell or trade President Barack Obama's former Senate seat. And for the latest news updates, stay at NWI.com.